Hi you guys, welcome to your uh, to my Venus through Sign series. Uh, this is for Venus in Cancer. Um, so those of you that are new to my channel, if you don't know where your Venus is sitting because this is a Venus reading, um, you can pause this video and go to any free astrology sign such as uh, I mean astrology site such as astral.com. Um, enter your birth information. It's going to ask for your birth time, day, and location. Um, you don't have to know your exact birth time. You could put 12 p.m. and that's fine. Uh, but it's going to generate a free birth chart for you. And if in your birth chart Venus is in Cancer, this is for you. Now also, uh, sometimes both your Sun and Venus can be sitting in the same sign. So that's fine too. The message still applies. Um, and then this also, those of you that do know your exact birth time, if you have Cancer as your 7th house, uh, this reading could also apply to you as well. Ooh, y'all have some beautiful cards coming out. All right, so central issue or heart of the matter, uh, we have the Ace of Cups. We also have the Two of Cups, Ten of Swords. We have the Queen of Swords. The Six of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, Lovers, and the Ten of Cups. Okay, so Venus in Cancer. Um, I'm feeling like you guys, for some of you, you could have had a breakup and then you you made up and then your love was restored, the relationship was restored, you guys fell in love all over again. Um, others of you, I'm feeling like you may have left one relationship and entered right back into another one. Uh, for some of you, you could be dealing with someone who is from your past, someone that you uh, grew up with. Um, childhood high school college someone from your old neighborhood it's usually someone that you're familiar with um if it's a new love and you just feel like you just you've never met this person then there is just that familiarity with this person this person this person's soul recognizes your soul so you guys are soulmates you guys have shared some sort of past life together it's probably pleasant uh, based off of the cards that are showing up. Um, you also could be dealing with a Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, I feel like you guys are really falling in love these next couple of weeks. Like someone is coming into your life and they are showing you some sort of unconditional love or... Um, they have some sort of love offering here for you. And you're going to think about it long and hard. This is someone that you feel like you could settle down with or that you could get serious with here. Um, we have also the lovers coming out. So this is some sort of connection that has a higher purpose than what you recognize it for. Or maybe the female recognizes it, but not the male. He's not aware of what type of connection this is, especially those of you that feel like you're re uh, reconnecting with the twin flame or meeting with the twin flame. Um, it's like the female recon re recognizes the connection for what it is and the male doesn't here. Uh, but there is some sort of spiritual connection that you're having with this person. Um, you guys are having a lot in common. You guys just feel like you have met your soulmate or the love of your life. And this really applies to those of you that are Gemini with... Um, with your Venus and Cancer because I believe the same message was coming through the Gemini reading. Um, so yeah, you guys are, are kind of, I'm feeling too that for some of you, you're bringing someone into your home maybe for the first time or you're introducing them to your family. Um, people are admiring how you guys look together. They're like, you guys make a beautiful couple. Um, you guys are going to have beautiful children. 
Um, if you're up in age, it doesn't matter. People just still think you guys are a beautiful couple. Um, you might be sharing, uh, posting pictures on the internet of, e of each other. Um, just declaring your love for everybody to see. I really feel like you guys are just basically falling deeply in love. I almost don't even really have too much more to say. Um, but there is a lot of unconditional love going on uh, with you guys. And I feel like too, for some of you, if this was like a relationship and this is a reconciliation, uh, like you guys broke up and then there's this reconciliation, I feel that there has been a, a change of heart or you guys have undergone some sort of ego, death of the ego, because your mentality was one way and it had to be changed or it had to end you had to change your way of thinking in order for this relationship to work um if it's not a reconciliation i'm feeling like this person comes just at the right time just after you had the worst experience of your life here here this person is coming into your life um, you feel like this person is a blessing from the universe a blessing from god and it is a gift it is a gift to have met someone who you share such a connection to because that is so rare, you know, uh, this day and age. So I feel like you are receiving a gift or a blessing. Uh, something is being paid off. Maybe your karmic debt has been paid off and it's time for you to finally enjoy something. Not saying that you'll never have negative experiences again but now this is the time to enjoy something here um i'm almost feeling too like some of you thought this person up like you you bought this person into your life through uh the power of thought there is a an element of manipulation here to me in this card where even you could have done some sort of attraction spell or love bath those of you that are into that um, I'm seeing that as a, a possibility as well because of that you opened up or cleared any type of blockages that you were having and uh, now you're allowing love to enter into your life here uh, you guys are having serious talks about your future together the things that you guys are talking about is is making you reassess everything. Um, you're going off your checklist and you're like, wow, this person seems to meet all the qualifications on my checklist, you know, and plus there's so much love there. Like, how could how good could this get? And for some of you, you're feeling like this is too good to be true. Um, you're like, has God really introduced me to a person so great? A person so wonderful so you guys are really just falling in love and you're being really grateful for having this person in your life and for some of you yes I feel like this is a twin flame the only thing I'm gonna say is that if it is a twin flame um, although it is a beautiful connection it is for a lesson this person has come into your life to get you started on your spiritual path and so this is why they've come into your life. You know, this is a lot of times the, the best way for God to get your attention is through someone else. Because when that person gets snatched out of your life, you are going to go through some sort of uh, transformation uh, of sorts where you are, you have to undergo some sort of death of the ego here. You have to transform your way of thinking. And, you know, I mean, I feel like it's worth it. it it's, it's not easy, but I feel like it's worth it. Even though it, it was a difficult experience with me and my twin, I I don't think I would take it back. I say I would, but I, I don't think I would because I feel like I see God in a different light now that I didn't see before. And that is just, that's a blessing. Had he not put that twin flame in my life, that wouldn't have happened. So... 
I feel like this is a blessing. Um, now, I don't want to, you know, rain on your parade by telling you if it is a twin flame, you know, all the horrors that lie ahead of you. But, you know, I'm just giving you a heads up. But for the most part, just enjoy it for what it is. Um, I'm just being a little nosy just to see, you know, find out if we can find some more information on the lovers. You guys are in love, though. I mean, you it's like it's a match made in heaven. Uh, I feel like I feel like this was an arrangement. This is a spiritual agreement. Like you guys already agreed to incarnate in, on earth together. This is a alchemical marriage, a spiritual marriage here. Um, this is no ordinary love. You know, this person that you're connected to. This is this is divine. This is definitely a divine partnership here so I feel like it's a huge blessing this is someone that you can see yourself with uh, for some of you it could be a co-worker or someone that you encounter with um, on a regular basis someone who you see in your everyday passing I mean that could be the security guard, it could be the bailman, it could be your Uber or Lyft driver. Um, and I'm naming all those things because I feel like this person could be a service worker or, um, you know, they're a general labor type of person. Um, you might be, you guys might work in a, a factory together or UPS or the postal service, something where you interact with this person on a daily basis and you're going to realize that it was all orchestrated. It was all meant for you guys to come together, to be together. Um, I have someone here who is having to overcome uh, any type of anxieties or fears here. For some of you, you could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. This person may have been covering up how they really felt. This person may have really been afraid or shy to come to you, but I feel like they're overcoming that or you're put in a situation where you guys have to have a conversation or have to talk. Now, for some of you, maybe you work on the internet and, and talk to this person on a daily basis, like especially if you work from home or whatever the case, someone that you you talk to on a regular basis, even if you work in a call center and you know how you have to dial in and, and connect people or um, maybe it's someone who calls in every day, whatever the case, I feel like for some of you, this person may live at a distance. Um, but you still interact with them on a daily basis. Um, this person makes you happy. Yeah, there's going to be some sort of confession that makes you happy. Or you are confessing to someone and it, it just makes their day. Uh, there's emotional fulfillment coming from this connection here. And there are talks about the future. You guys are talking about plans for the future already. You're like, I feel like I could see myself settling down with you. I feel like I could have children with you. So you guys are talking about uh, marriage and commitment and all those good things here. All right, so that is basically all the information that I have for you guys. I uh, hope it resonated. Uh, please feel free to leave your comments, like, share, and subscribe. If you want a personal or private reading, you can always email tamajtarot at gmail.com. And that information is in the description box below. Uh, thank you guys all for watching and many blessings to you.